Good morning my friends, Kalimera. Today I thought I'd go on a solo adventure in search of some of the more interesting statues around the city of Athens. Apple, carrot, orange juice, whatever else is in there, it's all good vitamins I guess. Any matter. Um, that's the color for store. I think we're in the clear. So we're walking towards the statue called the Runner. It's next to the Hilton, I think. I remember seeing it driving past there many times with you know family here in Athens, and it always intrigued me. You know, some pieces of art stay in your mind long after you've seen them. So that's the Hilton over there. Okay, we're here in front of the statue, the runner. As you can see, it's made of glass and iron. It was designed in the late 80s and put in Omonia Square, initially. Designed by Costas Varotsos. And from Omonia Square, I think after about six years, it was transferred to this location. And this is actually the location where the marathon runners in the Athens Marathon run past they see this statue as they approach the end of the marathon. An inspiring way to finish your marathon run. The interesting thing about this statue is that it, it looks like it's always in motion. Anyway, I always remember this statue having come to Athens and driving past this location. And I always remember seeing this statue Finally, I get to see it up close. Awesome. Check out this olive tree that I saw as well, just before. How interesting, the, the root here in the trunk, how it comes up. Olive trees, as you know, are part of Greek life. What does it say here about the olive tree? 15 centuries old olive tree offered to the municipality of Athens. 15 centuries old, this olive tree, guys. One thousand five hundred years old. This olive tree, guys. Look at the trunk. Fascinating. I'm sure there are many olive trees of that age throughout Greece. But anyway, Okay, we're here at Sindagma Square now. The square is there behind me. <coughs> this is the Parliament House, but that's not what we're here to see today. Close by here, there are some statues that I want to check out. This statue needs no introduction. It's a statue of Alexander the Great on his horse Vikephalos. This is the man, obviously, that united the rest of Greece, conquering the known world of the time and the biggest empire the world had known at the time, Persia, to spread Greek or Hellenistic ideals and culture and thought to the rest of the world, which we still use as our foundation to this day. Across the road from the statue of Alexander the Great is another statue that I wanted to show you. I Elas Don Virona. This is a statue of Lord Byron, one of the first Philolenes to help Greece in their cause of fighting for their independence. 
in the early 1800s, 1820s, against the Ottoman Empire. Lord Byron was one of the first Philolines to assist the Greeks in that cause, being such a big fan of Greek philosophy, history, and all the ideals that the ancient Greek world represented. And here we have again Parliament House. So I guess while we're here, I can tell you a little bit about, we've got Parliament House there, we've got Sindakma Square here, and there is the Hotel Britannia. A lot of history with that particular hotel. First of all, there's a lovely cafe at the top. A lot of speeches have been made, historical speeches have been made from the balconies of that hotel there. And here you've got the little train, train that goes on the road. That goes all the way around Athens. It goes past the Parthenon, Monastiraki, Plaka, Tisio. I'm not sure how much it costs. You get to see all the little spots around Athens. We're here in Monastiraki Square, nice little monastery here. Anyway, so we'll go get something to eat, get a bite, replenish, rejuvenate, and we'll continue on our journey to find some statues here in Athens of interest. So you might ask, how do you eat one of these things? You can't really wrap your, wrap your mouth around this, right? Although, that's probably how I'm going to end up eating it. But, one thing I like to do is get the chips from here and dip it into the sauce, whatever sauce you got there and you kind of work your way into it. Mm. I just remembered there's another statue of a very important figure who's known as the first citizen of Athens. Fuki Vivius coined that phrase. He was a general and a politician in Athens in about the 5th century BC. He promoted literature and the arts and through his efforts Athens became the educational and cultural center of that ancient world and for all his deeds and feats really there should be a bigger statue of him here and maybe there is somewhere else but anyway very gliss Guys, I just went into a shop over there, a sweet shop. Well, it's a pastry shop, like an oven. And I wanted to try one of these things. So they just gave it to me. I wanted to pay, but they insisted that I take it for free. Anyway, that's the Greek hospitality, guys. So I'm here in Omonia Square. Uh, for a few decades, this place was a bit of a no-go zone for Athenians. The mayor of Athens here, Kostas Bakoyanis, began an initiative to put a fountain here in the middle of the square and it's really cleaned the place up because it was you know, dirty and uh, there were people sleeping in the middle of the, the square here but now it's nice there's some shops around there's a big Christmas tree here and there's this beautiful fountain here it still needs a bit of work it's still a bit dirty not quite what it should be but it's a good start Oh wow, hmm. you can see how juicy it is, oh my goodness, that's delicious. The road seemed to be closed off for some reason today, I'm not sure why. There could be a protest going on, these things happen in Greece regularly. Police on their motorbikes, something's going on, something's brewing. Okay, we're here in front of the National Historical Museum between Omonia Square and Syndagma Square, where Parliament House is. And we're here to see this statue here of Theodoros Kolokotronis, a prominent figure in the Greek War of Independence, 1821. He fought in the British Army, in the Navy, in the Napoleonic Wars. As a young man, 
and he was also the son of a Greek resistance fighter. So he had some history and inspiration to start a revolution or be part of the beginnings of a revolution that would eventually free Greece from almost 400 years of Ottoman rule. There are people out there that believe statues are a waste of time and just egotistical. I think we need to remember the people that stood up to tyranny and this is definitely one of those people. Some of you may not know that after World War II, Greece went through a very bloody war, uh, civil war. The official end of that war, civil war was 1989 and this beautiful monument was designed by Vasilis Doropoulos and it was erected here as a monument of reconciliation.